my name is Denise Walsh and welcome back to my channel. If you are watching this video, then that means that you are probably experiencing anxiety or you know somebody who is. And by the end of our time together, I'm going to give you three steps on how you can combat this anxiety once and for all and replace it with peace and joy. So before I jump right in, please subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. All right, so let's first describe anxiety. What is anxiety? Anxiety is a physical representation of negative or fear-based thoughts. It's butterflies in your stomach. It's, you know, maybe sweating or heart palpitations. It's depression and feeling this weight on your shoulders. And typically it's a response to the negative or fear-based thoughts. So if you know the acronym for fear, false evidence appearing real, what this means is we've got a picture of our future that's evoking this negative emotion and our body is manifesting it. So three ways to combat anxiety once and for all. The first way is to Take a deep breath. Because anxiety is a physical representation, we need to physically calm down. <laughs> we need to slow down our thoughts, slow down our heart, just take a deep breath. Often when we're worked up, our breath starts to be short and that can exacerbate, exacerbate the symptoms. So take a deep breath and slow things down. Doesn't that feel good already? We should all do that any day, every day, anyway, right? The second thing is to ask yourself the question, what's the worst thing that could happen? Now, it may seem silly to ask yourself this when you're already overwhelmed or thinking negatively, but oftentimes when we ask ourselves what's the worst that can happen, we realize that it's not that bad. So the worst that could happen Usually you're alive, your family's alive, there's still love in the air, it could always be worse. And so really uh, recognizing that uh, can help reduce those negative thinking. The third thing is to ask yourself the question, what is it that I want? What do I want to feel right now? What is the outcome that I desire? What do I want my day to look like? And create a vision surrounding that. So some of you might be saying, but that's not what, what's happening right now. It's really hard for me to even think about that when that might not be true in my reality. Well, what I've learned is that anxiety and fear is, is that false evidence appearing real. It's a vision uh, picture in our mind that's probably not happening either. Yet we use our imagination for negative sometimes. And if we're going to use our imagination, we might as well use it for good. So let's focus on what we do want. What do you want to feel? What do you want life to look like? And then create a vision surrounding that. Picture yourself there. Picture yourself feeling joyful and peaceful and in healthy relationships with the outcome that you desire. And I can tell you the more you focus on that, that will grow stronger. So take a deep breath. <sighs> ask yourself what's the worst that can happen. And then ask yourself, what is it that I want to experience right now? And allow that to grow. And when you cultivate these skills, you will be able to combat your anxiety each and every day and replace it with joy and peace. I'd love to hear your experience. So comment below what you experience as you do these three uh, techniques and let me know how it works for you. If you want more of this type of information, I have two free ways. The first way is through my podcast. It's called Dreamcast. And in it, I have tons of inspirational videos and solo episodes where we talk about how to design your own dream life. And then the second thing is a free PDF download that's available in the link below in the description box. And this is called the Dream Life Design Map. And basically it takes you through what you want your life to look like in a year and then reverse engineer it so you have a clear path on how to get there. It's one of my favorite, favorite exercises. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video.